Good evening and welcome to evening prayer at our house. I hope you had a good day so far. Shall we pray? O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We're going to read Psalm 107. Just like it often is for me, it's a very long psalm, so I hope you're sitting comfortably. <laughs> oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say this, those he redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some went astray in desert wastes and found no path to the city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul was fainting with, within them. So they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. He set their feet on the right way till it came to a city to dwell in. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. He satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with good. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound fast in misery and iron. For they had rebelled against the words of the Lord, of God, and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he bowed down their heart in heaviness. They stumbled and there was none to help them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death and broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and he, the wonders he does for his children. For he has broken the doors of bronze and breaks the bars of iron in pieces. Some were foolish and took a rebellious way and were plagued because of their wrongdoing. Their soul abhorred all manner of food and draw near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from destruction. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer him sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. Those who go down to the sea in ships and ply their trade in great waters. These have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For at his word, the stormy wind arose and lifted up the waves of the sea. They were carried up to the heavens and down again to the deep. Their soul melted away in their peril. They reeled and staggered like a drunkard and were at their wit's end. 
But then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he brought them out of their distress. He made the storm be still and the waves of the sea were calmed. Then they were glad because they were at rest and he brought them to the haven they desired. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders what he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. The Lord turns rivers into wilderness and water springs into thirsty ground. A fruitful land he makes a salty waste because of the wickedness of those who dwell there. He makes the wilderness a pool of water and water springs out of a thirsty land. There he settles the hungry and they build a city to dwell in. They sow fields and plant vineyards and bring in a fruitful harvest. He blesses them so that they multiply greatly. He does not let their herds of cattle decrease. He pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless wastes. They are diminished and brought low through stress of misfortune and sorrow. But he raises the poor from their misery and multiplies their families like flocks of sheep. The upright will see this and rejoice, but all wickedness will shut its mouth. Whoever is wise will ponder these things and consider the loving kindness of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. O living Christ, rescue us from foolish passion and still the storms of our self-will. And as you are the, our anchor in this life, so bring us to the haven you have prepared for us, for your mercy's sake. Our gospel reading is taken from Luke 8. A man came up, Jarius by name. He was president of the meeting place. He fell at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his home because his 12-year-old daughter, his only child, was dying. Jesus went with him, making his way through the pushing, jostling crowd. In the crowd that day, there was a woman who for 12 years had been afflicted with hemorrhages. She had spent every penny she had on doctors, but not one had been able to help her. She slipped in from behind and touched the edge of Jesus' robe. At that very moment, her hemorrhaging stopped. Jesus said, who touched me? When no one stepped forward, Peter said, but master, we've got crowds of people on our hands. Dozens have touched you. Jesus insisted, someone touched me. I felt power discharging from me. When the woman realised that she couldn't remain hidden, she knelt trembling before him. In front of all the people, she blurted out her story, why she touched him and how at that same moment she was healed. Jesus said, daughter, you took a risk trusting me and now you are healed and whole. Live well, live blessed. While he was still talking, someone from the leader's house came up and told him, your daughter died, no need now to bother the teacher. Jesus overheard and said, don't be upset, trust me and everything will be all right. Going into the house, 
he wouldn't let anyone enter with him except Peter, John, James and the child's parents. Everyone was crying and carrying on over her. Jesus said, don't cry. She didn't die. She's sleeping. They laughed at him. They knew she was dead. Then Jesus, gripping her hand, called, my dear child, get up. And she was up in an instant, up and breathing again. He told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were ecstatic, but Jesus warned them to keep quiet. Don't tell a soul what happened in this room. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this, generation, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall ever be what shall be evermore amen the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone alleluia O oh, loving and healing lord we thank you for are two examples in our gospel reading today of your healing power. We thank you that whatever the circumstances in people's lives, you have the power and the wonder and the majesty, the power to heal. And we thank you and we praise you for that. And we draw to mind now those that we know are in need of healing. You might like to shout out the names of people you know. Shout them out to God and ask for his healing power. I know of two people who are so close to death at this time. And I don't know whether 
God is going to heal them in this life on earth or in eternity. And I lift those people up to you, Tony Proud and Leo. Draw their families and all families going through the same tragedy. Draw them close to your loving heart, O oh Lord. May they know that they are loved and comforted by you. Draw them close and heal them. May you be their great comfort, their great love. Heal them, Lord, and restore them. And may you be revealed in their life in some great and majestic way. And we pray once again for our government in the make help them to make the decisions and guide them in all that they do. And help others to appreciate the work that's being done most of which we don't know what's happening, but we know people are working hard to get our country back to what we would call normal. Help people to stay safe and to abide by the rules of this isolation. Let's not spread this disease anymore. Help us, Lord. Be with us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour has taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, Stuart will be leading us in morning prayer tomorrow at eight o'clock. Bye-bye.